I just want to get your input on how you thought that experience was. I thought the experience was great. Um, yeah, I thought, I thought it was really good. I thought, first of all, I wasn't really speaking up, so I kind of learned how to speak up for myself. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I think it was pretty okay. Okay. All right. So, um, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Um, are you the only one that's working in your household? Yes. And um, how much money do you usually make in a week, in about a week? I'd say about eighty dollars. Eighty dollars a week. And um, you did mention um, in our last meeting that you did other um, side jobs, like what? Yeah. Um, um, I did um, help my neighbors out. I worked for my neighbors for more money on the side. I okay. know we definitely need it. So. And like, what exactly did you do for your neighbors? Um. Either I would be kind of like a maid to clean up the house or tidy up stuff. Pretty much just it. Okay. And um, how much rent do you pay? Rent I pay is about three fifty. Three fifty. Three fifty a month. And you said that you make about eighty dollars a week. Eighty dollars a week. And you're. Rent is three fifty. Yes. Um. I you think I would be able to pay it the three fifty a month, but um, have other expenses I have to be paying for. Okay. What are those other expenses? We have the light oh. bill. We have a and we have a water bill that we have to pay for. And is like any of your immediate family helping you out with this? Like no. We live in like a kind of a rural area, mm-hmm. so people are pretty much, I think it's pretty much kind of like 30, 45 minutes away. Um, so pretty much, I'm pretty much doing it on my own. Okay. All right. So about your education, um, how far did you get with your education? Not the high school, the dropout. What grade did you drop out in? 10th. Okay. And I noticed that you didn't mention anything about you having a car. So, like, how do you get back and forth to work and, like, stuff like that? Okay, I have a friend. She helps me get back and forth from work. Okay. Because we don't um, work together on the shipyard and bomb, so. Okay. Yeah. And um, is there a reason for, is there a reason why your husband is not working? Okay, um... My husband is not working because I feel like he's lazy. He doesn't want to help me out. Um, I did try to talk to him about me to help me out. I'm doing this all by myself. But we've been having kind of problems there, but yeah. Okay, and um, does any of your children work in your household? I noticed that you have six kids. My oldest child, he works. He works at the McDonald's. Okay. And what is his um income? He makes money when he makes seven twenty five an hour. So I, I really can't calculate to see how much is making a month for him. Probably ain't that much. I say probably about like two hundred. But I tell him to spend that on uh, my grandchild. So my granddaughter. Oh, he so puts you- that money to rewards. I don't tell him to help me with no bills because I feel like as a parent. I should be able to do that. I should be able to handle that. I know he's he's the oldest child. He's still living in my house, but I feel like his priority is his child right now at this moment. Okay. So yeah, he, I tell him to spend that money on milk, diapers, anything for her, clothes, anything, or anything that he might need that he thinks is important. And how does your husband feel about that? Like your oldest child not helping you all, all out with the bills and stuff, knowing that your husband isn't working and you're doing it all on your own. Yes, it's big. Well, my husband he does not like. The oldest one staying in the house because he feel like he can move out and get on his own. The thing with that, like, I don't, I don't understand my husband. I really don't because I feel like my kids can stay in my house as long as they can to get up on their feet. I don't think my oldest son is at the age right now. Well, how he is right now, I don't think he needs to be out on his own, living by himself. But just a child because 
His baby mother is something else. That's all I'm going to say about her. Okay, and the oldest child is 24? Yes. Okay. You're right. So, I, we both agree about some of the issues that are going on mm-hmm. in your house, um, mm-hmm. the economic problems, your house, and education. Like, could you briefly touch up on each one of those? About okay. You? When it comes to my money situation, I'm not making a lot of money. So, that's what leads to me having this petty old job, well, not having a car, but money. Um, when it comes to housing, housing, like, it's not enough room for me and my six kids and my grandchild. Um, and paying the utility bills, half the stuff that we work in in the household. Um, when it comes to education, I, as you already know, I don't really have any type of education when they drop out in tenth grade. And in your employment. Oh, employment. This petty job that I have, not making too much money. So. Okay. Um, so about the education part, um, there are like some GED courses that you could take if you're considering going back and getting your education so that you could find a better paying job because I know the shipyard is not paying you like enough, like, so, um, So based off what we've discussed in the meeting so far, like what is like really affecting you the most in the most negative way and positive way? My job, like it's negative to me because I'm not getting the money really to provide for my family. And I need a job that's going to sit there and actually keep my me and my family stable to the point I ain't gotta be worried about not paying rent on time or skipping over a couple months to pay um on back of rent. I like we're back up now, like total we're like three or four months back to board right now. So the job is like a negative to me right now. So And I forgot to ask you, um, like what type of like housing setting do you all live in? Um, we're living like in a um like a little cottage type house. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like about three bedrooms and two baths. You think that'd be enough for six people, but it's totally not because I have six kids and one grandchild. That means all the two, um, well, me and my husband got our own room, and that's two rooms left. So that's pretty much like three kids in one room each. Like, and my grandchild, like, she sleeps with her dad, which is my oldest child. So I make sure they have their own little bed for them, too. Okay. Um, what do you think about the <coughs> problem or the issue? I think these problems can be resolved, and hopefully you will help me to resolve them. Because mm-hmm. this it seems like it's getting worse. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to help you establish some goals. So with employment, um, let's say that goal for employment is to find a better paying job. Like, what interests you? Like, what do you like to do? Like, other than the shipyard? Um, let me see here. Always wants to help people in some type of way. Any job that's helping people, I would love to do. I'm not a specific type of job that, as long as it's a job that I'm helping people and actually caring for them and helping out with things to be helped with, I'm fine with that. So, like maybe like a nursing home type job or? Fine with me. Okay, so. Um, let's say, when is your next available day for me and you to meet and like go out and like maybe look for a type of job? Um, next week is possible for me, that's all right. And what time next week? Um, I think around like, we do be any time next week, any day. And Miss Banks, um, one last question. What is like one of your personal goals like from this whole situation? Like a big personal goal for you? Big personal goal is to get back up on my feet with everything. When it comes to money, when it comes to how we live, when it comes to my job, and when it comes to my education. I just want to get all that 
under control and to a good place where I know I'm good at. Okay, so, so far, our first goal is to find you a better okay. paying job. Mm -hmm. Something that you like to do, like nursing home. So I'm going to put that for number one. Okay. And then for your second goal, I'm going to put to get back on your feet and be like stable. Okay. And do you have any questions for me or any comments about today's session? Um, how long do you think this process will take to reach our goals and get everything back where they need to be to keep me and my family stable? Um, I think that it shouldn't take as long. Like, if you really want it and determined enough mm -hmm. to get it, like, you'll get it. Like, so I would say about a month. A month's top. So, I will see you back here next Thursday at 3.30. Yes, that is totally fine. Okay, Miss Banks, it was nice meeting with you again today. All right, see you later.